can use the butter for lubrication. Those things have a huge leverage. From up there, one can watch over the entire area. I'd better try to be as inconspicuous as possible and very careful. Possible. Seen from here, I would guess 60 watts. Here are the numbers of the special draw. Three, five, six, five, four, nine. One single wrong number. The sewage worker will be kicking himself in the ass all day long. If all of these cigarette butts are from today and all from the same watchman, then he should apply to one of those record-breaking shows on TV. Oh. According to Sergei's theory, I should be able to get in there without any problems. What now? No. Very useful if you are standing under your sweetheart's window again and aren't allowed in. Ooh, we got a rock. The guy who took over the job of Sergei's contact man looks extremely well trained. How good of a shot are we? Damn! That is the third bulb this month already. What idiot keeps ordering this cheap junk? The story was just about to get interesting. Here are the numbers of the special draw. Three, five, six, five, four, nine. One single wrong number. The sewage worker will be kicking himself in the ass all day long. This newspaper here? Yeah. Can I have it? I guess so. The light bulb just exploded on me. It was really old anyway, and it'll be weeks for sure before anyone replaces it. You have to fill out a form that is signed by the officer on duty and then faxed to the ministry. From there, it goes through three committees, and with some luck, I'll see another one before I retire. Yes, <laughs> the wonders of bureaucracy are international. What about the newspaper? Fine, just take it. The guy who took over the job of Sergei's contact man looks extremely well trained. Let's see if some charming words will get me into the station. Hello, you wonderful man. Oh, oh Lord. Hello. All alone are you out here? Oh, Can I enjoy your company for a while? I don't care. Uh-oh, that'll be a hard one to crack. You smoke quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know it's unhealthy. But I simply can't give it up. I've tried everything. That's why I'm glad I get to sit outside. At least here I can smoke. Want one? Yes, please. It'll be good for my nerves. Isn't smoking forbidden inside the station? Absolutely no smoking. They probably have stuff stored in there that could raise half of Moscow to the ground. Oh? What things? No idea. And to be honest, I don't really want to know. Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Very wise words. You were guarding the side entrance here. Is there any special reason for it? Yeah, no one's supposed to go in there. Talk about stating the obvious. I'm flirting with you, stupid. Oh, and because of that, they have installed a strong, muscular man like you here. What? Uh, you mean me? Yeah, right. I'm sure they spent a long time thinking about who they could give such an important task to. And they came to the conclusion that only you could fulfill the job. Well-trained and radiating power and strength. Yes, you're probably right. I've only been with the troops for three years, but I've already achieved a lot. Of course, I, as a mere woman, feel much better when I know that real men like you are defending our land. What is so important about the station that you have been chosen to guard the side entrance? Actually, I'm not allowed to say. It's top secret. But I guess it has to do with some secret service thing. There are masses of conspicuously inconspicuous people running around. <laughs> You're not from the FSB, are you? Me? No, no, of course not. <sighs> I was lucky. I nearly let the cat out of the bag. 
I don't want to end up like my colleague. They just took him away. Sure, I understand. Damn, I almost had him in my hands. Funny. Your colleague, where did they take him? Is he coming back soon? I'm afraid not. The two guys that took the poor guy are from the FSB, I think. Oh, why did they take him? No idea, but it's better not to ask questions. The wrong one at the wrong time, and it could be your last question. As soon as they have you in their grip, it's not easy to get out again, if you get out at all. Uh -huh. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon. One small manipulation of the lottery results and the big win is perfect. Only short term, but isn't short term happiness better than none at all? All right. <clears throat> this to this guy here the late issue you can find out in here whether you can go fishing tomorrow or not yes I won I won I have to go home at once and tell my wife oh what's the point I'm going straight to my favorite fishing spot and will fish all night and I'll quit first thing in the morning if you want to marry a rich man You'll find me down by the river. He's already got a wife. I can only hope that he takes his sweet time about resigning. The stuff. And put it in our pocket. Okay. Long iron bars. Red and white boundary tape. A long rubber hose. That way goes down to yesterday's digested chicken. Yum. Should never lie. It stinks to high heaven. And the reason for it does not need analysis. The box seems to be dry. One of the sewage workers probably dropped it here. Well, pick it up. Ooh, matches. A box of matches from the nightclub lady. A few are still in it. That bright light could be from a floodlight, according to which I must be under the railway station now. Some of the soldiers have been using that hole in the floor as a rubbish bin. They could at least have let a couple of gold rings drop into it. I assume that this pipe is for wastewater from the station. A heavy duty safety door. Will it open? The door is open a bit, but it seems to have wedged itself against something. Ah. Done it. It's open. It's a, a valve. One can open and close the pipe with that. Why should I? Until I get an answer to this question, I'm not touching it. Okay. There is nothing swimming around in there apart from a few objects I'd rather not describe. This one's been sprayed red. Is that of any importance? There is no opening for a key or anything like that. Not visible anyway. Either the ladder is in an awful condition, or surprise visitors out of the sewage system are unwanted visitors. No, I can't get up there that way. All of the rungs are missing. No one is supposed to get up there. The iron bars are too long and would probably get wedged in the shaft, so I can't use them as rungs for the ladder. Well... I'm actually coming. I guess we can go down to the fishing hole. Hello, Yushin. Has anything special happened? No. Everything's quiet. 
You look unbelievably strong. Are you really powerful as you look, or is it more fat than muscle? Well, I do work out a little. After all, I want to make sure my body is still easy on the eyes in ten years. Of course, optically, it is really very impressive. Problem with most bodybuilders is that they can pump huge weights and then not manage to open a jam jar. Hey, wait. Show me the jam jar first. Oh, have I insulted somebody's honor? I don't have a jam jar with me, but I do have these iron bars. Give it to me. That's one of my easiest exercises. Uh huh. <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed. Now we have bent bars. This should work. Take the bent bars and put them on the ladder. If I stand on the very edge of the rungs, they should hold my weight. Uh oh, cutscene. She's found the bathroom. So now I'm inside. Now the only question is where my father could be and how I can look around without being caught by a soldier. Take a look at that. And this holy place is where a man can still be a man and pee, standing up. Not no enough. smoking. A water faucet for cold water. Ooh, the I'm one not. for hot water was removed. After my excursion into the sewer, I'd prefer a shower. Washing my hands surely wouldn't be enough. Hello? Hello? Are you all right in there? What? Uh, yeah. You always do that. What? You know, peep on strangers in the bathroom. I'm not peeping. What then? You were making some really strange noises. I just wanted to see if everything was all right. It sounded somehow sick. Are you... Are you from the FSB? Is that how I look? No idea. I can't see you. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. Why does everyone here ask me if I'm from the FSB? Well, they're running around all over here, and I don't want any trouble. Who does? Why? Do you have anything to fear? I will if the train's supposed to leave, but doesn't. You see, I dropped the key in the toilet. Unpleasant. I wish you successful fishing. Very funny. My problem? is also your problem. How come? Because I'm the train driver, and it's the key to the train. <laughs> oh, don't you have a spare key? No, that's why I'm afraid to come out of here. I can't tell anyone that the train can't go anywhere because the train driver lost his own key in the toilet. No, better not. Please don't give me up. Regarding the Secret Service people. What about them? What are they doing here? No idea. I didn't ask, and I hope they won't ask me. That sounds like a very wise strategy. Where exactly is the train going? You should know that. Uh, yes. But we got no such exact explanation. Well, I'm sure I don't know more than you. And if so, there has to be a good reason for it. How long have you been sitting here? About three hours. Isn't that really exhausting? Yeah, there's a horn you could toot. Shall we start a choir? Very funny. Now I just have to make sure I get a handle on my stomach again. What's coming out just isn't normal. It's true. Sitting on the toilet is like real life. You have to be able to let go. But now is really the time to change the subject. Who's on board the train? No idea. I'm just the train driver. They only tell me what I need to know. And you, did you sleep during the briefing? No, it wasn't especially precise. 
I thought you might know more. I nearly blabbed. I should be more careful. That guy is taking his oath of silence very seriously. Maybe someone else is in more of a mood for a chat. From here. Will you be all right without me? Sure, I have to. I'm gradually getting a little nervous. I've been running around here in circles for nearly three hours and I still couldn't smoke. Pull yourself together, Romanova. You know that we are completely understaffed. Romanova. Most of the soldiers are already on the train. I think you'll manage to survive the next few minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I've already chewed off all my nails. It's starting to get critical. Romanova, you... Oh, come on. Just five minutes. <sighs> okay. Okay, fine. I have to settle a few things, and then I'll take over for you. Thanks. You're a treasure. Speaking of treasure, you'll smoke with Yushin at the side entrance. Is that clear? Otherwise, you'll flirt with one of your comrades, and then you'll be gone for ages. Hey, it's okay. I get along great with Yushin. After all, we both agree that men are better lovers. Good. I'll be right back, and then you can go on your break. Oops. A small empty plate with a few coins on it. I'm not so desperate that I'd steal from a Russian toilet cleaner. Are you out of your mind? I work my ass off for you so that I can set aside five minutes and relieve you so you can take your break? And this is the thanks I get? But I... Oh, this will have consequences, I swear to you. You know why there's absolutely no smoking here, but this has consequences. There will definitely be consequences. Uh -huh. Hopefully she won't get into too much trouble. All right, what do we got here? Vending machine. I think it's broken. Considering the contents, that is not a disadvantage. You make tea in that thing, I think. Okay. I'd rather have a vodka. There's nothing useful in here. I think these crossed out cigarettes have some profound meaning. If only I knew what. I have to open it. This stocking has at least as many ladders in it as its owner had lovers. The way he looks, he surely is no longer available and married for about 20 years. That doesn't seem to bother the owner of this locker though. A guy who looks so good is definitely a fan of the wrong soccer team. <laughs> oh well, we all have our faults. A two-way radio. There is a sticker on the back with the number 15 on it. An envelope. What's in it? There seem to be deployment orders in there. Uh -oh. Obviously, throughout the whole train journey, the highest state of alarm has been ordered. They're expecting trouble from some kind of terrorists. That's why it says in the deployment orders that all irregularities must be reported immediately. I'm obviously not the only uninvited participant in this excursion. The guards will be extremely attentive to their duties. That's not good. Not good at all. There is something here about the exceptional treatment of special guests. Does that mean the prisoners? Maybe I'll find my father on the train. I'd better hurry. Attention, attention. All passengers and assigned guards should please board the train or follow their orders. The train will be leaving in a few minutes. <laughs> Not the photo is a bit small, but he looks really cute. And he is in the military, too. Like does attract like. A Russian military uniform. I should try it on. If it fits, I may not be recognized as a civilian straight away. A five-digit combination lock. I can forget cracking it just by trying random numbers. Five digits? There seem to be deployment orders in there. Obviously, throughout the whole train journey, the highest state of alarm has been ordered. They're expecting trouble from some kind of terrorists. That's why it says that it's...